Welcome back to Square Meal, Minecraft's worst enemy. In the last video, we did level something to level something, and this one we're going to start off at 31 and end off at 40, hopefully. So let's get started. Uh, yeah, there's not too much to say about this level. Ooh, whoa, okay. Whoops, wrong button. Is everything okay? Yeah, all right. I was playing around with my lovely internet tabs. Well. I was doing something in between recordings. Totally browsing porn, by the way, so no oh my god! Okay. <laughs> As luck would have it, I am a okay. Um, I'll I'll just get the block from the other way. Don't worry about it. Please let me step out of your way. Having a good time there? Just uh, looking at me. Haha! Okay. Glitchy game, please. <laughs> Uh, this game make this level makes it a little bit more cautious uh, Makes you want to be a little bit more cautious with your block usage because there's no stone ones here And there is a very limited amount of wood blocks, so don't use them all up uh, Incorrectly ineffectively don't hit things when they shouldn't be hit Aha Also, I don't know. I presume the spikes there are to encourage you to be a little bit stupid and waste your wood blocks in my case, I don't want to do that, but I am going to do it anyways because I want this apple. It's a delicious looking apple, let's be fair though. Okay, well you can just move or you're stunned, I'm okay with that. Just wanted to complete the level. Alright, let's head off to the next one. In which this is the one where you have to hit every single enemy exactly or restart. Once again, this is very, very brutal to anyone who's trying to go for a perfect score because if you accident accidentally miss one shot, you have to do it all over again from level 1. We are in level f I just screwed up by picking up this one. Alright, there we go. Just like that. Just one of those minor mishaps and you would be screwed. Alright, we're doing level 32. Sorry, I talked about level 40 earlier, I think. Right, let's do this properly this time though. I'll go after this mud monster, and I'll probably go through the entire area before coming back for this wood block. It's a little bit tedious, but it ensures that unless I screw up, we are A-OK. -okay. Alright. Let's get you, and I'm going to go back right now actually. I hopefully won't be able to uh, miss that monster. Which looks like I won't. And that way, I don't have to travel as far next time. Albeit, I probably travel the same distance regardless. Alright, we'll go with you first then. And now, this is the winning shot. Can Ray Laser do it? Or will he break it? Literally, the wood block. Don't break it. Alright, there you go. That's level 32 then. A little bit brutal, but we get to leave off with a pretty clean sweep. Make sure we're running away as fast as possible. I just got Goomba Stomp. But yeah, don't spend your time eating food in this level because the fish go after you immediately. And since they're both on opposite ends, you need to grab two different types of fish blocks. Ah, oh, where are you going? I don't even care anymore. Die. Uh, you have to act pretty quickly the moment you drop into this level, and that's pretty much the only danger. Since the people left are just mud men, so we are A-OK. -okay. If I could, I would come up with a new name for these mud monsters every single video. But my, my creativity bar is on an all-time zero right now. So we are doing pretty good here. Alright. Let's move on to the next level. Oh, yeah. I... Oh, I know the gimmick of this one. You'll notice that there is a grape and a carrot down there. Did you want to eat your vegetables? Well, you're gonna have to do a little bit of block stacking in order to do so. And as well as that, there's the additional hazard of grease spells everywhere. So you want to get rid of as many enemies as you can that are hanging around. As well as hidden spike traps like this one right here. Oh, let's knock you out. I will eat this. I'll walk on top, eat you, wait, and slide back in order to grab this block. Lovely. Let's get moving then. There's a little bit of navigating here because you have to use every single stone block on the map in order to go after those two right there. So, let's move from grease spell to grease spell. 
put that down and walk back. And I'll just leave you here to move back and forth. As well as you need to grab this block. Wait. Great. And that's how we will be able to complete this. Otherwise, we'll end up one block short. Uh, the most annoying part of this level really is waiting for the spikes to pop back up and down. So, it's not too big of a deal, I suppose. But it's still a good idea to go after every food item. Because food is tasty. I launched that right then and there because I decided, you know what? You can go back and have another little walk. Go on, shoo, I don't need you. Yeah, that's right. Alright. Let's hit you. Oh, oh, okay. For a second there, I almost stepped onto the spike block. That's also a little bit annoying in that it's very tedious and you can sometimes screw up a minor mistake like that and just completely ruin your own day. But with that, we'll grab one of these lovely championship blocks. Um, alright, let's go. Where are you going, mud man? Where are you going? Alright, that's our level done. Let's move on. Okay, this level's a little bit more annoying because something like this might happen. You shoot something and you don't realize or forget that there are jelly blocks everywhere. Makes it very, very dangerous. The good news is that you can block your blocks with other blocks. Uh, so that's pretty good. You can also block the blocks with other food items, so it's pretty good. It's really just a giant level about blocking blocks with your other blocks. It's, it's, it's fun to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright. Let's work on these guys ever so slowly. I trapped myself there a little, but it's okay. I forgot to go after my food items, so there's another bread and grape missing. I could have had a nice meal, and then I screw it all away. And another danger of this is that there's multiple fish and very small corridors for everything. I'll hit this guy a second time real quick. And I'm assuming that fish guy will go after me soon. I hope he will. So I can get rid of the current threat in this level. And with that, this level is pretty straightforward. And I will go around and get the egg and other item below first. That other item, I believe, is a pie. So let's go after- Okay, it's a carrot. Way off! Come on! How did I see a carrot as a pie? Better be careful around here. All these dirty carrots pretending to be pies. Unless you're a carrot pie? That's a little bit weird. I mean, I've heard of carrot cake, but uh... I don't know, maybe it tastes as good? I think our biggest issue right now is going after this tomato. Especially with this guy bobbing back and forth. Alright, I'll see you later then. Don't worry. On the bright side, he's trapped here from now on. And now he's not. And I am missing a block for some reason. Where did it go? Oh, okay. Whatever. I'll question Nitrum later. In the meantime, we get ourselves our lovely tomato of 50 points. And now we can go after the last of uh, the gravy monsters from outer space. Maybe it's just a giant fry and it's covered in gravy. Maybe it's just poutine. A. Eh? This level is especially fun because you have bombs and jellies everywhere. It's terrible. I don't know what to do with this, so goodbye. And I didn't blow anyone up. Lovely. I actually wanted that not to happen. Right, let's shoot you. Okay. Oh no, wrong button. All right, hold on. Let's try this again. What level am I? 37? Oh, two mistakes. All right, not too big of a deal. Let's just go after those food items, or whatever. I need to keep juggling this thing as much as I can. Okay, well, it's just gonna blow everything up, whatever. Let it all burn, I say. At least now we don't have to see that many jelly blocks everywhere. I liked green before I played this game, and now I don't because it has a tendency of killing me a lot. Alright, just waltz around. There's only one block nearby, so I'll use that. Just get out of the way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Fairly safe with everything around here. The good news is that the explosions don't set off the jelly blocks. Because that would be really hectic. Alright, let's juggle you in my mouth a little bit. Make sure we defuse it. And I'm pretty sure we're good now. There we go. Lovely. 
Alright, oh, okay. If this is a little bit dangerous in that you have very small corridors, you're probably wanting to go after all the food items, which means you need to move around the map very quickly. And that wood blocks only hit one monster at a time, so if you get trapped like how I am right now, you will have a really rough time trying to make sure these guys don't destroy you utterly. The good news is that you can eat these guys, obviously. And my goal is to hopefully just leave one alive so it's not as hard. I'll carry a wood block with me in case I need some safety. But otherwise, I'll wait for this guy to get near me, uh, hit him with the block, have some grapes, and then dine on the main dish, which is fish. Alright, 39. A little bit more difficult on that spin on the original first 10 levels, or the 11th level maybe, in which you have jelly blocks in small corridors. So it's very difficult to navigate around them. You always need at least two blocks of space in front of you before shooting one, and even then that's very iffy, but the good news is that it's not as bouncy when it's shot in a two lane. If you try to shoot it in a lane with only one space for you, you might fall into a little bit of trouble in that you will immediately die because you won't be able to get out of the way. right oh I'll just leave you there. Okay, maybe not. I unleashed a, a monster that I never realized that I would. Great, you can hang out here for a little bit. I want to go after this buffalo first. Lovely. All oh, these damn Canadians killing the buffalo. Ugh. Oh. The native spirits would be disgraced. Or the natives in general. Hmm. Um. Right, this sucks. Uh, okay. Can I shoot that? I cannot shoot it in that lane. Oh! Oh no, I don't get my tomato and egg. Imagine all these dishes I could make with this lovely combination of ingredients, a fried egg and a tomato. I could make myself a fried egg and a tomato. Also, meet my most hated level ever. I've died like 15 times on this level, and before I wanted to go for a perfect score when I was playing this on my own time without the recording, and I completely failed and lost my perfect score because of this level. And then I gave up and just wanted to beat the level and it wouldn't let me because I kept dying to these jelly blocks. So a plan I have devised is just leave your jelly blocks in the center corridor, go after the food items you see vertically. If this thing will stop, please, there we go. Uh, then go after the food items horizontally. And then the big trouble you have to deal with here is the monsters that are in your lovely horizontal lane. Uh, one, two, three. All right, there's three spaces here. I can do this. Or not. I guess these really aren't squares and actually rectangles. God dang it. Ah, oh, even when, man, I calculated that too. It's not fair. This is why I don't like this level. I was so angry the first time I played this level. Oh, so angry. I still am a little bit salty about this, actually. Okay. Well, that worked in my favor quite a bit. Uh, not going to jinx this yet, though. Because we still need to deal with a few jelly blocks that are outside our safe zone. And apparently the safe zone itself is not safe, as demonstrated earlier. Hmm. Yeah, you just stop right there. Or keep moving, I don't really care. Did I just lose a jelly block? Did I just lose two... Jelly blocks? Okay. Uh, sh sure. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyways, a good thing to do is get rid of these two center blocks first. And that way, you can shoot it straight forward, have the block stop for hitting another block that is not jelly-like, get rid of this block and reset it, and do the same for the other side. There we go. And this makes the side lanes a lot easier because before I would leave those two center blocks there, it traps me in quite a bit and it makes it very hard to navigate, which means I have a tendency of dying to jelly blocks. But otherwise, it's pretty easy. Yeah. This is one long level thir level 40 as well. Jeesh. Alright, there we go. 
believe that's level 40. We'll do a quick check, but otherwise, I think we're good to go. 40? 40! Alright, thank you for watching this lovely video about square meals and how they're actually rectangles. If you enjoyed, you can play this lie of a game yourself by clicking Nitrum in the sidebar to the right. You can try this playlist if you're missing an episode somehow. Or you can subscribe and join me in a lovely two-player adventure. I will see you in the next video where we do 41 and 50. Bye! Was that a voice crack? I think it was.